My beautiful Pisces friends, welcome to the channel. Watchers, cross watchers, everyone's welcome. My name is Donna. Let's jump into this reading. It is a four part love reading, time stamped, as you will see momentarily. We're looking at the clarifiers for the overall energy, the Ten of Swords. Pisces, what is ended here? Ten of Swords energy is Gemini energy. Let's see, what are you walking away from? A real sense of betrayal and defeat, but you are walking into the sun. So let's see. Six of coins. You feel really defeated by a relationship or a situationship in which you did not receive equal give and take from your partner. We see here also the movement of cups. Feeling very romantically towards someone. Pisces, that's your energy. Pisces, you're also here as a hanged man. That is a mutual energy between you and a love interest in the recent past. The Nine of Wands says that both of you had fire in your tummy for this relationship. We also see the Spirit of Swords, so the King of Swords energy, having a great deal of clarity. Some sort of decision was made, basing head over heart. That is Aquarius energy. We see the movement of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and the Two of Wands. So it does look like you, in the recent past, and your partner have been at a crossroads, uh, working at making a decision, you know, trying to see what the future will bring for the two of you. Currently, your energy is, both of you are very invested in the relationship. We see the Hermit card. So you may be, wow, okay. So I'm seeing that some of you may be planning on some sort of separation. You're at a lifetime crossroads. So it does look as though the two of you have major decisions to make. But there has been a sense of betrayal that you've experienced, an ending. So we see the hanged man energy with the Virgo or hermit energy. Again, strong Pisces energy. Pisces, what are you trying to recover from? It does. It could be work-related. Seven of Cups, Scorpio energy. Not really understanding where you're at in all the situation. There could be circumstances in the situation that are very complicated. You and your partner may be at a crossroads in which you have to leave something behind. But let's look and see. So your partner, Pisces, is the Four of Wands energy. That's how they see this, the relationship with you is very stable, very sound. That's the 1111 card. They feel as though they could possibly marry you. But here we have the Ten of Swords again. So you feel as though your partner has betrayed you? Is that what I'm seeing here? Or your partner feels as though you've betrayed them. Okay, so the Innocence of Swords, Page of Swords, scoping each other out, possibly finding text messages. But the way forward, you know, how your person views the two of you is moving forward very rapidly. The Ten of Swords is really... Um, that's typically a betrayal. So let's ask another, sort of do a little sidebar here. So did Pisces person betray them? The movement of swords, the innocence of cups. No, okay. So Pisces, your person did not betray you. It does look like they have a lot to say. It looks as though they love you. They do see a path forward with you, but they definitely feel like there's something circumstantial here that has been the source of difficulty or sadness. So Pisces, why is this Ten of Swords? Okay, what does the Ten of Swords represent? What kind of absolute defeat does this Ten of Swords represent in this reading? The closing of a cycle. This looks related to career. Okay, so what else do we have? We have the Heart of Wands, Queen of Wands energy. So there's a lot of fiery passion here, a lot of Aries energy. Pisces, your person sees you as heartbroken. Three of Swords, what is going on? Four of Cups. They see you as a person who's not at all satisfied with your life. We see a new beginning, though. I like it. 
the Fool card, your person sees you having a new beginning in love, suffering from some sort of catastrophe. The Magician card says that you have all the tools you need to make things better. The Three of Swords could be a third party situation here. Your person absolutely adores you. Look at their energy, the Sun card. So Pisces, are you tired of somebody? Are you wanting to walk away from a relationship? Because I see your person is being very happy. I see your person wanting the stability, wanting long term with you. But I also get them not taking the action that you would expect. What is your person missing here? What are they not taking action with? The star card, they're not healing something. Your person is taking something for granted in this relationship. Maybe there's been, yeah, the nine of swords, but all up in your head. Ace of coins about movement forward. Pisces, why is this Knight of Pentacles here? The Knight of Pentacles represents that your person sees the situation as moving forward slowly. The Wheel of Fortune, when the time is right, the two of you will be able to manifest this new move or this new situation. Let's see what this is. The Chariot card moving forward very swiftly. We get the Sky Father, which is the Emperor. So your person really sees you as very powerful, but the death card speaks to the fact that there has been something that's gone on in this relationship, Pisces, that has left you just shattered, heartbroken, something. But the death card tells me that your person is very, very much bent on making things better, having a rebirth. The Seven of Swords is a sneaky Pete energy. It's a negative energy, usually lying, usually being quite unfair to somebody, and it's hidden in the energy between the two of you. The Seven of Wands, you both feel very defensive in your relationship right now. The Temperance card. So both of you want to heal the situation, whatever has brought you to this place. Whatever lies or difficulties or challenges, it does look like both of you, Heart of Cups, Queen of Cups, both of you want to heal this broken-hearted energy. Now, it does look like the two of you could be in separation for a while, or you've been in separation, but let's see why the Empress is here. Spirit is saying, trust this. Spirit is saying there's a lot of love here. And advising you to manifest it. The sage, Hierophant. You know, your belief systems are on target. Both of you are spiritually oriented. You both want the best with each other, from each other. Spirit is saying that the King of Cups energy along with the Queen of Cups. So both of you are very emotional about this. Five of Cups. There's so much confusion. The Seven of Cups says both of you just don't know quite what to do about this relationship. There are many choices to make, and the wrong choice could mean trouble. So let's see what we have here. We have the Spirit of Wands, King of Wands energy. So we have the Queen of Wands up here. You know, we have this Heart of Wands, which is a Queen of Wands. So both of you have really, really diverse energies. Both of you are fiery, very emotional, but look at what flipped over the Seven of Swords. What is going on? It looks like there is something going on beneath the surface. Pisces, that is just breaking your heart. You just, are you leaving somebody? Are they leaving you? The Two of Cups, I don't think so. Here's this, okay, so this is, <laughs> The Scorpio and Pisces reading have been very tumultuous. So we're going to look and see what your best course of action is here in this situation. What is Spirit recommending? Your best course of action here is Hawk Spirit. Let Spirit be your guide. Okay. Well, you're open to it. We have Bat Spirit. Rebirth. A rebirth is assured. You could be going through a very intense period of change with that death card, but I get new growth here. So 
What else is going on? Miracles are endless, Pisces. So whatever's happening here, it's really not, it may not be as bad as it seems. But, okay, so let's see what we have here. What else do we have? This is a Sacred Destiny card, so the cards, let's see what the Sacred Destiny has uh, for your advice. What should you do? Journey by Moonlight. Believe in magic. All right, so Spirit is saying whatever happened here that upset you, that broke your heart, is something that you can really, that's leading you to a miracle. Expect wonderful miracles, wondrous miracles to emerge. All right, we're going to pull one more. So Pisces, I'm going to need for you to leave comments below. First light, the beginning of a new cycle. I love it. Okay, so let's see what the help and hindrances are from the universe. Things that you need to think about or, you know, things that can help you in this situation. All right, we have shining through. So you have spirit shining through. The power of purpose. So this looks very hopeful. It looks as though you, oh, sacred reverence. So we really see this energy spirit is right there supporting you all the way, Pisces. We are looking at, again, a situation that looks like you're just, you know, could be somebody else or some other situation, could be career. I'm going to put cards here. What is the Ten of Swords about? Please clarify more about the heartbreak in this reading. What is it about? Wheel of Fortune, a disappointment of uh, some sort that had to do with timing or luck. The Sun card. Well, those are great clarifiers. So you're feeling like some sort of plan that you had is not working out. But the Three of Cups, you have some sort of friendship, somebody coming to the rescue, uh, somebody is going to help. Spirit is helping in this situation. So, you, but you are really, you're in this energy, though, of feeling grief-stricken. What else is about the Ten of Swords? So it does show that we have the Death card. All right, so... There is an ending that is taking place that involves timing. All right. So, Pisces, what does your person love best about you? What does your person love best about you? We have the Seven of Cups. The fact that you have a vivid imagination, that you have an open mind, that you don't get overly set in your ways. The Two of Coins, they love the fact that you are willing to do whatever it takes, even if it takes two jobs. Uh, to, to, you know, balancing things in your life to make things work. Ace of Swords, they feel as though you are very honest, straightforward. They also feel as though you are going through a period of healing, which makes sense. So the Ten of Swords may have nothing to do with your partner. For some of you, there could have been a loss of a relationship somewhere else in your family, friendship. The High Priestess card says that your person sees you as very, uh, very, very intuitive, psychic, very gifted, very much living within silence within your heart. They respect how strong you are. The Empress, they respect how nurturing you are. Okay, quiet down, Rose. They really respect the fact that you are very... You're get gung-ho about equal give and take. Six of coins, six of coins. They love the fact that you're highly romantic, Pisces. There you are. Lance of romance. Lucy romance, however we want to say it. The Ace of Cups. They see you as being very open to a new beginning in love. Pisces, that's what I have for you. Please leave comments below. Sending you love from Chicago. I'd love to know where you're from. Send comments. Let me know where you're from. And tell me what you think of the format and, uh, and of the reading. Tell me what experience you're having here for those of you with this Ten of Swords, Three of Swords kind of energy. So I uh, hope to see you again in another video soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.